we have a lot of ideas in our brains, right? Yeah. I saw a lot of this thinking and this thinking, and I really like it when we take our ideas and keep them in our brain. So make sure they're good in there and they're secure in your brain because we need to plan the materials we need for an investigation. Can we have a magnet investigation with nothing out? No. no. We need to think about some things that we could use and see whether they're magnetic or not. Okay? So, eyes on me. We had a good chance to look around this room, right? And a good chance to think. So, Latrell, tell me something that you think would be magnetic in this classroom <coughs> or that you'd like to experiment with. The chairs. So, Amon, will you come right up here under materials, chairs? Oops. Marker's right there. As he's writing chairs, I want you to write chairs. Do you need help spelling chairs? Good. Very good. You can put the marker right back down there. What else, Ashley, do you think would be magnetic? A spoon. A spoon. Spoon. Okay, Maximus, will you come right spoon? And make this a little smaller so we have room for more. I don't know how to turn this feature off apparently, so we're just gonna leave it and not worry about it. Make sure you guys write spoon under your materials. Remember, we can't put our hand on the board. Do you want help spelling spoon? No. No. Not all of our friends can read cursive yet. He's doing very good. I tried. It's okay. So did you write spoon and chairs? Yeah. Okay, good. Xavier, what's another thing that you would want to try? It could be, it could not be. It could be anything in this room that you want to try to stick to a magnet. Oh, okay, a backpack hook. Very good, Maya. Come right backpack hook up here under materials. Do you need help spelling backpack or hook? Okay. Thank you, Maya. Did you guys write backpack hook? Yes. Good, okay, let's see. Aiden, what would be another thing uh, that you would want to try to see if it's magnetic? The um, cart. Oh, the technology cart, very good, okay. Nova, come write carts. Would you like help spelling cart? Okay, class, let's help Nova. We have the word cart. What's our word? Car. Okay. Let's listen to the sounds in cart. What letter says C? C. Good. And then there are two letters that go together to say the hard R sound in cart. R. Go ahead, add that, please. And then listen to the final sound. Cart. C. Good, Latrell. That's okay. Let's just try again. Okay, sometimes if we go slow, it just goes slow too. So we already said C A R. And what letter says T? Good. Thank you. You can stick that back down there. Let's take, oh my goodness, I will write it up here. I don't know why it's being so tricky today. It's probably because I really want it to work and it's like, haha, ha, joke's on you. All right, let's think of a few more things that we could use in an experiment. Um, Dakota, what would you like to use? Any object in this classroom, what would you like to see if it's magnetic or not? The lockers. Lockers, good, okay. Sada, come write lockers up on materials. Make sure you're adding cart and lockers to your paper. Do you need help? Very good. <coughs> I like your nice neat handwriting. 
Good. Blockers. Mason, what would you like to see if it's magnetic or not? Um, the fridge. Do we have a fridge in here? <laughs> no. No. Look around our classroom. I'd like a fridge in here, but we can't have a fridge in here. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. The door handle. Door handle. Good. Joaria, will you come write door handle up here, please? Do you want help spelling door handle? Yes or no? Okay. Yes? Class, we're going to help her spell door. What letter says D? D. Good. And there are two letters that say the O sound in door. Oh. Good. And what letter says R? R. Now, put a little finger space. Oh, we'll fix that later. You know that it's an R, not a P. So let's help spell handle. We're going to do it in chunks so that maybe it sticks, because we've been working on that in phonics. What three letters would, sound, would spell hand? Hand. Good. H-A-N. And then we have our consonant. <laughs> L E, what consonant L E spells dull? D L E. Good, D L E. Make sure you're writing door handle on your page. Thank you, Joy Area. All right, that's okay. This is being super tricky today. Don't know why. Okay, there are lots of things that we could add to our investigation, but we're going to move on to the next part because we can always come back to this. We can always add more, but I, I know you have a lot of stuff in your brain. You're, you got big brain energy. I know. That's why we have room to go back and add more. Now we're going to move on to procedure. Let's think about what is a procedure. Maya. Step back. Miss Cloud. Yes. Can you turn Xavier down for a moment? Yes. Thank you. Good. You're right, Maya. It's the steps we take to solve a problem or answer a question. Today we don't really have a problem. No. We have a question. Yes. Our question is what causes objects to stick to a fridge. All right. Yes. So let's think about our procedure. All right. I'm going to give you 30 <laughs> seconds think time. In your brain, just think to yourself. You don't have to raise hands because we're going to do a turn and share after. Take 30 seconds to think about all the different steps we need to take to study magnets, to figure out what would stick to a fridge. Okay. Four 